Okay, guys, sec this is my second time in this room, so I want to give you just a little bit of background on who I am. I'm a 20-year uh, veteran of healthcare data companies. I've run and operated many others. Um, a couple of those I have scaled and sold either a CEO or president of them. Um, I was the president of a very large division at, I at IMS Health, which later became IQVIA. My passion is for healthcare data, and what we're bringing together in Verona is for the first time ever that I've seen in healthcare data, near census level of EHR data, and we're also bringing in claims and images and genomic data, and we'll talk a little bit about that. This, this company came together about two years ago. I joined about a year and a half ago as CEO. These investors, Google Ventures, Bain, others, were looking for the right CEO to help this company scale. I just sold my last company, and they're getting really excited about what we might be able to do with this one. We had the American Academy of Ophthalmology contributing the largest healthcare specialty data set in medicine. The, let me restate that. The largest healthcare specialty data set in medicine. This is, a, this is something I had never seen before. It's a near census level of data. It's 80% of all ophthalmologists contributing on a very frequent basis. We had two entrepreneurs who became our parts of our board members who had done this many other times with other healthcare data companies, including iTech Pharmaceuticals and many others. And what this created was an ability to assemble the largest clinical databases in medicine to accelerate research for patients. We're doing this in ophthalmology first. We did recently sign a deal with the American Academy of Neurology as well, where we'll also do a lot of work there, but we're, we're not gonna talk about that today. Today we've got about 75 employees across three offices. Small office in New York, a big office in San Francisco, that's the hardware organization. But what is IRIS, guys? IRIS, the IRIS registry is a massive registry. Something really special happened six years ago when the American Academy of Ophthalmology started creating the IRIS registry. I am a healthcare data guy. I have been doing this for decades, and what I can tell you is I had never seen near census EHR data in my life. They're getting 80% of the data set. And when I saw this, I jumped. To be quite honest, I was in between. I just sold my last company. I told my wife I'm taking a year off. I took two months off, and I saw this. When Google Ventures came in and said, look, we're gonna finance this with more money than you need, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go run at it. Um, it's got six years of longitudinality in the IRIS data set. We are the exclusive partner to IRIS uh, in this data set. We have that, we have that deal into perpetuity, um, and we have that deal um, on, worldwide, on a worldwide basis. That's what we negotiated. That's what we negotiate with all of our uh, partners on the data set side. 250 million patient encounters, 61, unique, 61 million unique patients, 55 EMRs that we're pulling data from almost on a nightly basis. What can we do with all this now? So the question is, we're working with a lot of different life sciences companies. We're analyzing this for, for a lot of things. One is care decisions of thousands of specialists, including glaucoma specialists, real world outcomes um, on millions of glaucoma patients. That resides in our data set today. We're, but we're a science company, guys. What I don't wanna leave you with is that we're a large capped Silicon Valley backed company. We fill our company with data scientists and data technologists and data algorithms people and clinicians. These are the people who walk the halls of our organization. Importantly, I spent some time working in the not, in the, in the not-for-profit public sector world in Africa and India. We bring those people into our company. They come with a mission-first or, uh, orientation. We interview for it. We've hired a chief people officer whose job it is to make sure that that's what we do. We have three products, three product lines, as you say. One is uh, Verona Trial Connect. This is all about trial design, identifying and engaging qualified sites all across the country, sites that might want have an interest in, in doing research, and we surface the right patients to physicians for accelerated trial enrollment. Imagine a world where you are a rare disease patient and you can't find a trial to be part of and a physician that is looking for just the right kinds of patients to enroll into those trials, but there's no connection between that. Trial Connect allows you to do that. We see the data. We, we crunch those numbers instantaneously. We built the technology to do that. We also examine trends for life sciences companies, Verona Business Insights. We understand market share and segmentation. We characterize treatment utilization. We can help you deeply understand disease. And we also conduct a lot of medical research. So we have a team of scientists, epidemiological studies, outcomes analysis, regulatory use cases we're just starting to move into. We're starting to do some work with the FDA where we're doing surveillance studies, but we're also now 
in a world where they're at, where we're starting to move into looking at label expansion and virtual control arms. This is really important stuff that we're getting really excited about. I didn't think we could be there in just a couple of years of, uh, of my being the CEO of the company. I'm really excited about some of the progress we've made. And then, guys, we put a lot of this research into the public domain. And we do that because we look at it and we say it belongs there. This isn't just stuff that should be given to any one life sciences company. We're trying to move forward the institution of medicine. So in the last year alone, we've had presentations at five different scientific conferences. We've done, in addition to that, three other oral presentations and six poster presentations at AAO alone in the next few days. We will have a podium presentation and five different posters. This is really important to us. Now let me give you just one basic example of some of the things that you can do with this, some of the things that you can do with this data set. Again, this is a very basic example. We don't have time to go in deep here. But this is a study that we did, and, and we published this, and we, pub and we published this uh, this year and presented it last spring. We assess patient outcomes in one of the largest real-world cohorts of patients with open-angle glaucoma and, and ocular hypertension undergoing trabeculectomy in the U.S. We looked at outcomes in almost 9,000 patient eyes over two years. As expected, we knew this. We knew that the surgery would lead to a significant reduction in IOP, but we were able to quantify that reduction. We quantified it over many different time periods. We did it by number of office visits. We sliced and diced this data in so many different ways, and we brought a level of rigor and, and evidence to the world that hadn't been seen on glaucoma before we published it. This is just one example of the kind of research that we can do, and we can do this at very large scale going forward. We also create patient journeys. These patient journeys, this, is, this, illustrates, the, this illustrates just one of, the, one of the patient journeys that we've created. From, from diagnosis of glaucoma to prescription of a topical medication to surgery, we get, as we go along that patient journey, we start getting everything from EHR to claims data. We layer in image data and get OCT fields and visual fields, and we understand procedure codes from claims data. So in other words, what we like to do is try to create a fuller picture of the patient narrative. And that is what we spend our lives on. We, come, we bring at it raw EHR data, which comes with all of its benefits and problems. We bring in other, part, other data sets. We do analytics on all of that. We're now bringing in Medicare claims datas, data. We're pulling in images from the field, and we're creating a fuller picture of what you can do with that. And I think this is really important to glaucoma, where there is some variability in care, and where I think it could benefit from evidence from RWE. Again, we're talking about 250 million patient lives and 60, 250 million patient encounters and 60 million patient lives that you can look at over six years of longitudinality. I'm gonna stop there before I get booted. And, um, and I think, okay, good. And uh, we're at booth 2047, please stop by and see us. Thank you for the time. Thank you.